British men march into Zulu territory. A war for land and resources erupts into violence. This is the Anglo-Zulu War. Battle 1, Asana Luana. 20,000 Zulus, only 1,200 British. The Zulu scouts advance, drawing many Brits out of cover. But the main Zulu army is hidden from sight, and so begins the advance. Okay, let's watch the auxiliary cavalry go into the Zulu Big first impact, but the artillery. Look at that guy over there, rip. But Zulu reinforcements have arrived. The British artillery is gearing up for a second shot. Is he going to get it? Yes, he does, but he goes down. And just behind him, the Gatling gun is getting ready to gear up. And it goes down as well. Now, the Zulus are deploying the horns of the bull strategy. This is the right horn. This is the left horn. And this is the absolute squad in the center. A second British artillery takes a shot, managing to take down a massive group of Zulus, the Brits defending the rock to the very last as Zulu spearmen, riflemen, and missiles all move into the battle. And one by one, the Brits are dropping like flies. That is terrifying. Look at these lads. Look at the British boys on the hill trying to defend. Look at this Zulu charge, man. This is terrifying. We're back to our final line of defense for the British here. I do not think they've got a chance. They've got an officer. They've got a spear inbound. Oh, he survived it. Can he survive another? No, he cannot. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, th there we go. About 10 more spears came in. Oh my God, that lad over there getting wiped out by the Zulus. We're down to just our officer unit. And look how terrifying this truly is here. He goes down. And so the winner of that battle, the Zulus. Battle two, Rourke's Drift. 4,000 Zulus, only 152 Brits. A final stand that lasted over 10 hours. Can they hold the line? Let's begin the Battle of Rourke's Drift. Let's see how the frontline boys will do. Now, the Zulus are incredibly spread out across the map, which means we get a continuous wave assault against the defenses. And trust me, the defenses are going to be put to the test. Already, we've got our first customer. Is he genuinely the first guy is going to make it in? No way. Oh my god, that was close. But look, the Zulus are clumping up into massive chumps. Even though they spawn so far away, they are almost already in. How long are the frontline troops going to survive here? It's not looking very good for the Brits, let's be honest. Over on the other side, it looks like these boys are having a slightly better time holding back the enemy, except for that guy. Couple of cheeky Zulus on the side, trying to slip around the side, actually getting a great spear in. But the right horn is being taken down fairly easily. But the Zulus have completely overrun this position whilst we were not looking. What is the next two positions they're going to make their way over to? So I guess one is over here and the other one is in fact they're also already dead. All we've got is the officer. And the Zulus have absolutely piled over the edge. They've still not taken these final few boys who are like dug in. Their spears are just getting stuck on each other. Can these three boys really hold back the entire No, no, no they can't. And now look at the tension of the Zulus trying to get into the combat. Fortunately, the Brits are dug in with sandbags and the Zulus are having a hard time getting in. But look at this. We have got our final defensive position. Ammunition is running low and the Zulus are now in striking range for these soldiers about to be... Oh my God. Look, their spears all get stuck for real. The spears get stuck, but now they advance. The Brits are not looking too strong here. Let's be honest. Oh my God. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Look at this. Hold on a second. I think they're actually getting stuck on their own bodies. This is incredible. Are the Zulus going to lose this? Are the Zulus really going to get held back? If you're in any position, you'd want to be this guy here. Hold on a second. This guy just shot through the wall. And look at the final stand in Rourke's Drift here. These boys fighting to their last and going down. Officers manning the walls, literally shooting them as they try and kill them over. That is a sight to be hold. He's trying to kick him, but it didn't quite get through. Another officer dug in here. We got a couple of riflemen down the back, but the Zulus are making their way round the bull's horns after all. Is he going to get a shot off the flanking maneuver from the Zulus? They might have inferior technology, but they've stolen guns and their tactics are up to scratch. The British officer has actually gone 
over the wall. I'm not sure that was a good idea. He goes down. The boys are moving in, but it looks to me like the Zulus might just be running out of steam here. And this looks like the final unit for the Zulus, who is stuck behind a wall. Look at the absolute carnage here. We're down to the last couple of units, but look how many Zulus died getting over the wall. And then there's those that didn't even get to the wall. One final unit to take care of. Let's see if he can get the kill. It's a 1v1 showdown here, and there we go. And so, the winner of that battle, the British Empire. Battle 3, Kambula. 11,000 Zulus, only 2,000 British. Dug in and ready for battle. Can the Brits hold against the horns of the bull? Alright, let's begin the battle. Gatling gun moving up into position. Is he going to do any damage before he gets shot down? He's winding up. He is gearing up. That guy came so close. Somehow, Gatling gun has not yet been shot down. There we go. The bull's horns have arrived. And the Zulu warriors are making their way into combat. But is the artillery going to get a shot off? Let's wait and see. Yes, he does. And I think these boys are about to have a very unpleasant surprise. In fact, it didn't really do anything. A little bit disappointing. And the rest of the Zulus are continuing on in. This is a scary horde of units. Now, the British riflemen up on the hills are gunning away as quickly as they can. But it's the boys on the ground that are doing the back work. And the Zulus are getting closer. And that is nothing to be laughed at. Look how many of the boys are there. The chieftain is in melee combat here. Somehow, though, actually, this guy's managing to survive. Okay, that's another artillery shot. Can the other artillery also get a shot? Or is it too much to ask? He's aiming at someone. He's definitely aiming at someone. It's really there we go. Okay, he took a shot. He took a shot. But even so, look at all these Zulus moving in, man. And okay, another artillery. The Zulus are in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the Brits. And it is getting messy. And let's see, he's lobbed a speed in, which is gonna hit him. Crotch shot, but he takes it like a champ. The officers, the last men standing, once again, sponging up the spears. But they're giving it a good go nonetheless. Look at that little wooden spear. Who would have thought it could stop so many rifle bullets? Oh my god, it's literally stopped about 15 bullets. This is absurd. And this is turning into genuinely quite a close battle between the Brits and the Zulus here. There's really not many Brits left on this hill, and we've got a couple of Zulu riflemen down here. We've also got Zulu spear throwers, but the spears just aren't quite making it up to these boys, but the gunshots are. Look at that. This might be our final Zulu unit, though. Is he going to be able to do it? I mean, it's a real long shot, and I mean, quite literally. That's not, it's not just a pun. The Brits are slowly moving down to him and there we go. So the winner of that battle, the British Empire. Battle 4, Ulundi. 15,000 Zulus and 2,000 British. The Zulus are now fighting to defend their capital city, but the Brits have been learning. Artillery in the middle and a rear guard to stop them getting flanked. Let's begin the battle as the artillery takes their first shots. Absolute bedlam. Look how many of them just died. What the remains of the Zulus in the center are moving up, and the horns of the bulls are also moving in. Let's see if these spears hit. Yes, they do. But the artillery is actually being taken down here. A rogue wheel wipes out one of the Zulus, though. What a way to go. What a way to go. But the artillery, oh my god. This guy's had a pretty rough time of it. But the right side is still moving in. Pretty strong here. All these insanely strong shields punching and slapping with their spears and taking down quite a lot of these units, but come on, look how many riflemen are here. Ooh, I hope it dies. Now, in the center, these boys are still moving in. We've got an absolute scrap up over here. This is not going well. Look at this. We've actually got serious melee combat. And look at these boys. And the chiefs are... Okay, the final artillery gets another shot in. And thank God he does. Just before he goes down, another chief tastes the dirt as well. And it looks like on this side over here, they've wiped out all of the enemies with the exception of this one spear thrower over here. Here. 
and they have managed to deal with the melee combat that was happening. Now the Brits have just got to try and clean out the rest of these units. Surely they can't lose this, right? Look how many shots they just sponge. It's so not fair, man. These shields are so bait. We are literally down to a 3v3. Okay, make that a 3v1. The timing of that. One single lad remains and down he goes. That was unnecessarily close, guys. Why, why did it have to get to that? And so the winner of that battle, the British Empire. Now go click that red button.